Now let's uh, look at a numerical which is uh, more relating to time homogeneous Markov jump process and solving of the Kolmogorov equations in the same. During a football match, the referee can caution the players if they commit an offence by showing them an yellow card. Okay. Then, if a player commits a second offence which the referee deems worth of a caution, they are shown a red card and are sent off the pitch and they take no further part in the match. So, they are not going to come back. If the referee considers a particular serious offence has been committed, he can show a red card to a player who has not been previously cautioned. So, so probably there is an uncautioned player. He can either be shown an yellow card and from an yellow card be shown a red card or directly there is a possibility of red card being shown to him and sent off. The football team manager can also decide to substitute one player for another. Right, there is a substituted uh, uh, and uh, so that the substituted player takes no further part in the match. So from substituted also you can't go into an uncautioned kind of a state. You can't go back to the match. Due to the risk of a player being sent off, the manager is more likely to substitute a player who has been shown an yellow card. So, from an yellow card, there is a possibility of substitution. Experience shows that the players who has been shown an yellow card play more carefully to avoid a second offence. Fair enough. And even an uncautioned player also can be substituted. Okay, the rate at which the uncautioned players are shown an yellow card is 1 by 10 per hour. The rate at which those players who has already been shown an yellow card or shown a red card is 1 by 15 per hour. Then, the rate at which uncautioned players are shown red card is 1 by 40 per hour. Then, the rate at which the players are substituted is 1 by 10 per hour. If they have not been shown an yellow card, so uncautioned player substitution is 1 by 10 and 1 by 5 if they have been shown an yellow card. So, this is the typical uh, scenario. Okay, sketch a transition graph showing the possible transitions between the states. I think what we have done is that sketching itself. We have sketched this transition graph which is showing the possibilities to the various states. So, we have an uncautioned state from where a person can be shown either an yellow card or a red card or be substituted. All three are possible. From an yellow state, he can either go into a red card state or he can be substituted. From the red card stage, he cannot go to any because he does not need a substitution because he is already sent out of the ground. And a substituted player also because he cannot come back. So, from uh, R and S, you do not have any kind of transitions back. So, this is the typical uh, transition graph. Now, write down the compact form of Kolmogorov forward equation. What is the Kolmogorov forward equation? d by dt or p of t is nothing but p of t times the generator matrix A. Now, in this case, what is my generator matrix? Let me denote the states. Uncautioned, yellow, red, substituted. Uncautioned, yellow, red, substituted. Uncautioned to yellow. Uncautioned to yellow is 1 by 10. Uncautioned to red is 1 by 40. Uncautioned to substituted is 1 by 10. Means uh, staying in uncautioned is minus 9 by 40. Minus of the summation of these three. 1 by 10 is 4 by 40. 4 by 40. 8 by 40. Plus 1 by 40. 9 by 40. Minus 9 by 40. Now from yellow what are the transitions? From yellow there is a transition to red which is 1 by 15. And from yellow, there is a transition to substitution, which is 1 by 5. So, this is 3 by 15 plus 1 by 15, 4 by 15. So, here it is minus 4 by 15 and a 0. 
because uh, from yellow state he can't come back to uncautioned state and from red there are no transition so this entire thing is zero and from similarly from substituted also no transition so this is becoming my generator matrix and this becomes my Kolmogorov equation in the simplest form fine so we are able to address this as well a football match lasts 1.5 hours okay solve the Kolmogorov differential equation for the probability that a player who starts the match remains in the game for the whole match without being shown an yellow card or a red card. So I really want the probability of UU. Right? I really want the probability of uh, UU, a person who started the match without being cautioned. What is the probability that he will still remain in that? So from that perspective, I know d by dt, I know this uh, d by dt of uh, p u u of t should be equal to p u u of t times the generator matrix. Or, so uh, from the generator matrix, I am directly uh, getting from u u it is minus 9 by 40, minus 9 by 40 times p u u of t. Now probably we can solve this uh, differential equation because d by dt p u u of t divided by p u u t is equal to minus 9 by 40 and obviously uh, this is nothing but d by dt of log p u u t which is minus 9 by 40. So log p u u t will become uh, uh, integral of minus 9 by 40 the integrated between 0 to 3 by 2 if I am talking of per hours so this is uh, 3 by 2 so p u u of t is nothing but e to the power of minus integral 0 to 3 by 2 9 by 40 so it uh, directly comes out to e to the power of minus 9 by 40 times t, uh, so 9 by 40 times uh, t comes out to 3 by 2 and 0, so it becomes e to the power of minus, how much, uh, e to the power of minus 27 by 80. Right, e to the power of minus 27 by 80. So, how much? Uh, so, I can very well uh, simplify this. I should be able to uh, simplify this saying e to the power of minus 27 by 80 working out to around 71.35 percent. So here it uh, comes out that 71.35 percent is the probability that a person has been in the unca uncautioned state, he will remain in the uncautioned state only till the end of the match. Now, calculate the probability that a player who starts the match is sent off during the match without breathing previously cautioned. Which means I want the probability from U to R. Right, I really require the probability from U to R. So, what is that I can look at for that? <coughs> I want the probability that he stays in the state U for some period of time, let's say from the start of the match, right? I am uh, looking at, let's say, from 0 to 3 by 2, up to a certain point, he lying in the state UU itself, and from there, there is a transition transition that is happening from u to r 
and again the probability that he is lying in the state R itself. Right? That is what uh, we are uh, looking at. So here, he has to be in the state UU. So now when I am looking at uh, the entire period from 0 to 3 by 2, okay, he has to be in the state UU. We have already seen what is the probability that he is in the state UU which is minus 9 by 40 s e to the power of minus 9 by 40 s is the probability that a person will be in the state UU up to a time period s. And between s and t, he transitioning from the U state which is the uncautioned state to the R state. We know that transition is 1 by 40. And probability that he is in <coughs> the uh, uh, in the red state itself is e to the power of 0 because the transition from there is 0. So it is coming out e to the power of 0 which is 1. So this entire thing requires an integration. So, I could clearly uh, look at integral between 0 to 3 by 2 e to the power of minus 9 by 40 s ds. So, I can very well uh, simplify this uh, expression 1 by 40 e to the power of minus 9 by 40 s by minus 9 by 40 times 0 to 3 by 2 are 3 by 2 and a 0. So, this is very much uh, coming out minus 1 by 9 times e to the power of minus 27 by 80 minus 1. So, 1 by 9 times 1 minus e to the power of minus 27 by 80. So, this becomes the probability. So, it is very much uh, coming out like 1 by 9 times e to the power of, uh, sorry, 1 by 9 times 1 minus e to the power of minus 27 by 80, which is working out to 3.18%. So, that is the probability that the person will be sent off during this uh, one and a half, uh, during this one and a half uh, hour the probability that the person will be sent off without giving a direct warning. Right? So, here we can very comfortably use an integral uh, equation because uh, uh, we don't have too much of moving back. There are two states which are almost dead states, absorbing states. So, there is the so, using an integral equation is quite easier to solve integration form because there is only one part of a transition. From U, I can just go to R and from R, there is no way I can come back. So, this is where I can talk about. Then, consider the match that is ending indefinitely rather than after one and a half hour. Now, if I am looking at the match which is ending indefinitely, Probably uh, that is where the change comes. Earlier we have uh, got it as 1 by 9 times 1 minus, see if you have uh, looked at uh, the, the integration part, okay, it came out like the solving of the integration minus 1 by 9 times e to the power of minus 9 by 40 s. This entire thing I have integrated it between 3 by 2 and 0. Now, if it has gone for infinite, I have to integrate it between infinity and 0, which will lead to 1 by 9. So, this 1 by 9 is the probability. If this match goes for an infinite period, there is a possibility of 1 by 9 or around 11.11% chance that a person who has started the match, he will have to leave the match without any kind of yellow card. Now, if you look at it, this is nothing but, I, I can look at it as a jump, jump chain here, the probability associated with a jump chain, u to r as a proportion of the total. So, that is where I am using the jump chain process, irrespective of, uh, I'm, if I am monitoring only at the time of transition, if I am taking the probabilities only at the time of transition, 
that is what is coming out to be the jump chain and which I can easily uh, get from here. So the jump chain correspond, the jump chain element corresponding to a transition from U to R is 1 by 4 divided by the sum, 1 by 40 divided by the summation of this. So which is nothing but the ratio of the transition rate directly shown a red card to the overall transition rate that is coming out, uh, coming out of the uncautioned kind of a state. So a quick uh, simpler uh, look out at the numerical can help us uh, solving these kind of uh, differential equations quite comfortably, right?